Well, The Marauders takes place in southern Louisiana um, in 2010 after the BP oil spill, and it concerns mainly a out-of-work shrimper named Gus Lindquist, who uh, goes on a, a bit of a tear and goes through a little crisis, and he has a bit of a pill problem, and he goes looking for the lost treasure of Jean Lafitte in Barataria Bay. And what he finds is a little more than he bargained for. Um, there's a young um, man named Wes Trench who's torn between the past and the future and, and trying to decide if, if this community is the place for him uh, given all the hardships it's endured. The bayou is uh, right before you get into the gulf, uh, that margin of land and water um, that hosts many islands um, and uh, is, is the fishing ground and shrimping ground for a large community uh, down there in, in southern Louisiana. This particular place uh, in the book is called Barataria Bay, uh, where the pirate Jean Lafitte was known to um, keep his uh, stores and his booty in. It's a place full of uh, lore, and uh, that very much lives in southern Louisiana. Um, in fact, every other person that you run into in southern Louisiana will claim to be of uh, Lafitte heritage in, in some way. So there's that kind of um, embellishment. You know, there were a lot of things in the air when I moved to southern Louisiana, and it was not my intention at all to write this book. Uh, but with the oil spill and knowing that people in that community and teaching down there, um, I kind of witnessed a lot of hardship and a lot of heartbreak, uh, but at the same time, these people had a, a great sense of humor about it and kind of countenanced all these hardships with something that I, I, I really admired. But to write about this time and place, in a, I hope, uh, in an authentic way, and my version of that is, I suppose, with dark humor. I, I think that's a part of my personality, and I'm very glad that uh, it's been received that way.